live uh, tour around the Shut country. up, we're filming! <laughs> Love you! Cool. It's been 10 years since I've seen Avid Marion and I've forgot a little bit what he looks like. Not scripted, does it? No. <laughs> you say it went wrong. I'll say that, then you say this and I'll say that, okay. Workout time for me. I'm going to go for a run. I need to. Laura's been doing a bit this week and I've done nothing, so. Yep, yeah, I've had a little stretch in here, a little go on the treadmill, just to warm my legs up. I'm going for a run. Here we go. Woo! Woo oh, I'm tired. I've only gone halfway around the, the park and the fields. Around a couple of uh, a couple of uh, training grounds, rugby training grounds here. It's a lovely little spot there. She walked the dog regular path. Just goes on all the way around uh, the fields, which is lovely. But um, I'm loving this sunshine. Who else out there is enjoying spring? Oh, just feeling that sun on our face. We're talking of sun. A uh, couple of days, Laura and I and the kids, we are out to Mallorca. Uh, we're going to see Pam and Rob. I'm going to be staying with them guys, very kindly invited us back after last time. So we're really looking forward to that, looking forward to seeing them. I'm having a good catch up as well, because when we were last out there, the end of last year, um, it was their wedding, renewing their wedding vows for 25 years. So it was fantastic, but it was hectic because they had lots of friends and family and things like that there. So uh, we did get have a good catch up with them, but no, not a full catch up with them, you know, but we're having 10 whole days out there and um, we're looking around for a little bit of property as well. Uh, may, may crop up over there, so. Hmm, watch this space. What a workout. That was a good run this morning. The sun definitely makes it easier. I went for a run around that area, I showed you before. Um, four times, four times around the two uh, training tracks. Two rugby tracks, wherever they are. Uh, listen to me Oasis in me little headphones. Keep me going. <laughs> and then uh, got back and done. A little bit of stretching and also a tiny, tiny little bit of light weights too as well you do do a bit more don't you when the weather is better but listen it's going to be a great day today um just walking from our street now uh, train station at the end of the road here and um we're going into liverpool city center to see a good old mate of mine uh lee francis aka Bo selector or keith lemon you know he's got many many he goes by many many names over the years and many characters but uh, today he is appearing at the Philharmonic in Liverpool so I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing the show itself but I'm going in early because <clears throat> we've arranged it for our cameras to go down there and I'm going to get a bit of an interview with him which I've got to be honest I'm dreading because he's a bloody handful Um I love him to bits but he is a bloody handful I've seen him on other things getting interviewed and It'll be weird because whenever I've seen him, I've seen him as a friend or we've worked together. I've worked on all of his shows. He's never done anything that we've been doing. And we've only done, you know, five or six podcasts. We normally do them in our uh, bar area at home. Actually in our house. And uh, they go well, you know. We can't get him to our house because he's literally got a tour every day. He's got a different location. I think he was in Nottingham last night. Uh, Newcastle the night before. Uh, and he's only got about five more days left of this tour. Birmingham then tomorrow night. So his feet don't touch the ground basically at the moment. He's in big, big demand. But um, his team have basically uh, arranged it for me to come early this afternoon and uh, bring our camera crew in so we can get a bit of backstage stuff from setting up, doing rehearsals and hopefully get him, catch him off guard a little bit. Let's see what the real Reef Francis is like and not the actual... Um, Boat selector character, uh, so yeah, it will be fun. And I've seen him for over 10 years as well, so it will be really nice. Look forward to it. One thing I forgot to mention uh, the girls are coming out as well, so uh, Laura is getting ready, she's going to jump the train into town uh, probably in another two or three hours. Uh, we're going to have some dinner before the show and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get in and see the show as well. Our friend, one of my best friends, Shelley, uh, as you might have seen in a couple of the vids that we've had, is over from Australia with her children. So it's nice to have her at the house and uh, she's coming out as well. Uh, she's going she's gonna to enjoy it. I don't know if she's met Lee. She might have met Lee 20 odd years ago. She may have, I don't know. But um, she's looking forward to it. 
it. It's going to be good day and night. Just arrived at the Liverpool Philharmonic. Let's pop inside and see Lee. I've arrived inside and I've got my own dressing room. Don't know why. <laughs> Here I am up on stage of the Philharmonic. Last time I was here, you were seeing. I was doing something for Ricky Tomlinson, but Lee's about to do sound check now with uh, his team on here and some light checking and things like that. Jake's down there, he's getting one camera on his shoulder set up. Nick is on his way, he'll be with us soon. Super story, that will not bring a more value, is what you're saying. Do you mind if you like dresses? Are in the same room. Are we in the same room? Let's have a look. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. A random thing to be doing be blog here <laughs> in an empty theatre the boys are setting up there we'll have three cameras uh, one in the center on lee and me and then one shooting side to side on both of us <laughs> but jill goes it's a superpower when you tell that to kids i got in the superpower jill it's, it it's a high wall with barbed yes. wire on the top of it yeah. so every time you've got to read anything you go I hate reading things out. I can go up on stage and talk to, you know, a thousand yeah. people or live TV, not at all. I can waffle on for an hour if I need to. But as soon as you put a script in front of me, I'm going to do word for word. Well, we didn't do script shit, did we? Not my script, it doesn't. No, no, no. <laughs> you That's where it went wrong. I'll say that. When you say this, and I'll say that, okay. <laughs> I, I'm Jill, I think it's a superpower. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. be able to build the way you build if you weren't dyslexic. That's no, his what superpower is his building. That's his superpower. Building. It's not to do with reading. That's the power, the, the skill for building. But you look at many entrepreneurs, oh, yeah. successful people, businessmen in different ways. Oh. They're dyslexic. They, maybe they're it's dyslexic. because they have to develop a new skill. Yeah. Because oh, if you have a hurdle in front of you, if you can't naturally, as you want to jump over well, it. I see you with all the tape measure and all shit. That was rough. It. Around it. Oh, Did the you ever shit. DIY? No. We need to get him on the oh, DIY show with the tool in the hand, don't we? Yeah, well, there you go. But I don't do DIY. I can't put a picture up. I can't yeah, that's, oh, that's what we can teach you. We can yeah, teach you yeah, to put a picture up. This is brochure that Lee designed my first time. And this is the first time I'm speaking to Lee, being Lee. Yeah. And actually, not being Avid Marion. Oh, yes, Marion. Avid Marion. Marion. <laughs> How many years? <laughs> yeah, that's Marion. Take my notes, Tom. There it is. Oh, there you go. I've got one signed. How about that? In the he, bath. He, has, he has spoke to me in, yeah. uh, as me. He came to me wedding. I wouldn't have it Marion then. <laughs> Dad, Marion. Well, Marion Take no notice of him. I'm Marion at your wedding. Marion. It's not. He, what, what does he know? I'm surprised, I'm surprised, you, I'm surprised you don't put the in front of it. All the scouts put the in front of everything, don't they? Well, Marion knows the answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the bear as well. He's going to be on stage later. Brilliant for that. So we get someone out of the audience to read a bedtime story to the bear. I know. I've seen the picture. I think he showed me before when oh, I arrived. Yeah. 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 Make sure you don't pick anyone dyslexic then. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, like on a book, when you open a book, there's like a blank page, isn't there? Yeah. That, that yeah. page probably has a name. The yeah. Was. The Inlay page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, some woman came up once and she, it was the blank page, and she must have thought, oh, there's no story, I must make it up. And she's making it up. <laughs> and as the bear, I'm going, what the fuck are you reading? <laughs> are you making it up? There's a, it's a book. Yeah, there's words in yeah. it. Into the Just next page. I, would, I think you're brilliant at ad libbing, but that's not what's happening. It's a story. <laughs> Get to the next yeah, page. Yeah. <laughs> you want yeah, this job? We got five minutes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to sink. Yeah. Ad libbing quite a long time. funny at first though because they they thought about it for a while, haven't they? Because they knew they were doing it. Yeah. Before mm. it's like they they asked to come in. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Something online. It's pretty planned, isn't it? Like, yeah. And so they come on with this. What I'm gonna say. Yeah. And then and as soon as it starts, more. yeah, they've gone out there. Yeah. But it's funny when they first come on. They come on a bit confident, don't they? It depends what mood the bear's in. Is that a horny mood or an angry mood? You've been in a naughty mood the last one. You've been in a naughty mood? What's yeah. he been up to? Who's been well, winding up then? Steve. 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 I'm halfway through a change and I get it on. Yeah. It's <laughs> with, a, with a dog's yeah. toy that he squeaks. Yeah, yeah. squeezes it's a dog's toy. Yeah. And I really believe that I'm saying. No, you, know, you do it well. I feel like I'm having a conversation with <laughs> you. Yeah. He's squeaking away. And you did a really long one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as the bear went, oh, I, I don't know what you're saying. You know, <laughs> what you're saying. 
<laughs> Is that a different accent you're putting on? Don't, they'll get cancelled. <laughs> Don't do that accent, they get cancelled. <laughs> that's the first one I'm saying, isn't it? With the best. No? Oh, just set up no, that's just because they, they start with that just for the sound check. But ah, right, okay. Towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice little surprise, isn't it? Yeah. Um, us first. Us. Conte- it's contemporary, isn't it? Then, uh, uh, then, we, yeah. then we start the, with the masks and it's Ant and Deck. Yeah, Ant and Deck. And then yeah. Abid Merriam. Yeah. Right, should we go see out there? See if they've got yeah, the stage we can yeah. jump in. Bro, cool, cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> Let me call you. <laughs> Grab a little photos as well, love, if you would. Getting the lads in shot behind there. I made these trousers. You make all your clothes, don't you? Know, most not of all of them, no. no. But um, this guy said, um, oh, I print tracksuits. Oh, Do you want to be covered? <laughs> Yeah, because I wasn't allowed to use their image. Oh, right. As, uh, and can you get away with it as long as you cover the eyes? Well, I've not sell these. Yeah. He, he just said, I'll do you a sample. And then I did them and then never heard anything from it again. But he did me two tracks up, so I read them and the black one. Yeah. Here tonight, because you are doing your live uh, tour round the Shut country. up, we're filming! <laughs> Love you! Called my first time. Yes. And do you know what? Before we get into it, it's not just about you, OK? Yeah. This is my first time. First time that I'm talking to you. Publicly. Publicly, yeah. As Lee Francis. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we've had character. many chats um, as me many. It, behind closed doors we about have, things uh, we couldn't say on camera. I know, but we won't talk about that. Yeah, publicly. <laughs> I've always been happy marrying with you, I you guess. You have? And do you find it weird now being yourself? Not anymore. I did it uh, about last year, but I joined Virgin Radio. Yeah. And I've kind of learnt to be me in front of camera or on radio or whatever. Uh, and now I'm all right, but yeah, it's all right, yeah. Is it harder being you than actually being a character? Because you've done so many I t- characters. I tell you, when I'm being me, I, I don't feel any pressure to do any funnies. Okay. So I might come across boring. <laughs> but but I guess when you when should you keep, cut, should we cut now? <laughs> when you when you Keith Lemon or character, yeah. you've got to do something, haven't you? Of course. Yeah, yeah. With, but when I'm as me, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's easy going, isn't it? Because you know what? The ball is in your court because this is your thing. Not I know, mine. but most people ask me, what's she really like? And this was years ago before we got to see you on television. Yeah. Being late, being yourself, sort of thing. And I used to say, well, I can't disclose too much, but it's just a normal person. It just happens to be funny. And what, how I described you in the past is you've got a talent where you can tune into somebody's extra, in your days, a, extra extra something about them you see something because all your mates when i first met them yeah i first met them when we went in your stagnant yeah literally yeah. 20 years ago am i saying uh 21 stagnant? 21 yeah, years yeah. ago on there and every one of them just had a little something weird or funny about them that you <laughs> tuned into and exaggerated but made a funny side of it which helped develop some of the characters yeah. in the early days i guess i just take essence of people i, I think I see, I see things in people i guess and, and then i blow that up yeah that's yeah, what i do that's yeah. how I've, I've, I've tried to describe people to yeah, you yeah yeah because i don't i think I don't, I don't do impressions of people no i, I don't i don't I, never, yes, you do. I, I don't feel like i do impressions i i, I do um you my interpretation interpretation my interpretation because okay, yeah, yeah. you get people who do straight impressions yeah. And uh, and that's sometimes uh, an impression is really good, so good that you're just wowed by it, yeah. and, and you don't find it funny. You just like, wow, you sound just like them. Where I'll try and go to something a bit dafter with it, so hopefully it's funny. The real person. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you try and because obviously you've got to pretend that you love this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love this bad person. And then he came out. I thought, right, it's my chance. So I kind of just ran to him. Yeah. And I, and I just uh, um, I, yeah. I got roughed up at uh, the Brits. I went dressed as Greg David to the Brits, <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm, I've got an earpiece in, so yeah. I, can, I can talk to my cameraman. And um, I said, I, I, I'm talking to him. I've got in. I've done red carpet in the mask, and then I've got in. I've got no ticket because they said, "Have you got your ticket?" I said, "I'm nominated for four Brits oh, as Greg David." Yeah. I'm saying, um, and then and, and Craig David was actually nominated. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then um, they took me into this sort of alleyway, roughed me up a little bit, oh. and he could hear it, and I could hear him laughing. <laughs> And um, I'm getting roughed, <laughs> and then I came, came out, and he's pissing himself laughing. Went, I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. But uh, yeah, he got roughed up a couple of times. <laughs> now the meals have arrived. Lovely. What a lovely meal that was here in the forest. I came here to the opening night many, many years ago, and I think Laura and I have been here once or twice before, but that's it, but food was brilliant. So, take a bite of the flowers, and we are off to see the show. 
So we've managed to go out and get some dinner, which is great. But Paul Lee is still doing a meet and greet on stage. So he's backstage here. <laughs> he's there, look. <laughs> oh, no, Paul Lee is still doing meet and greets and cards and things. Do some stuff. I've got a posh sticker, look. <laughs> Why not? I feel special. <laughs> Sorry, we've all got one. Oh, we've all got one. Oh, he's burst me bubble. He's me bubble. Even Laura's got one as well. <laughs> Show is about to start. The boys are getting into position. They're still reading the instructions on these cameras. They don't know what to do. But we're going to go and have a drink, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, let's have a drink. We've got our seats and Laura's pulled already. <laughs> With one of the crew members. <laughs> There's Lee up there. <laughs> it's been 10 years since I've seen Avid Marion. I've forgot a little bit what he looks like, but it's just nice to see him and touch the face, you know. It's just nice to touch the. Lee! I mean, Avid, I mean, Avid. What the. What? I'm sorry! <laughs> That's the same. Yeah. <laughs> I just came up to you downstairs, yeah. I'm changing you, Ginger. You, you haven't changed a bit. I mean, all the time we were together for 20 odd years ago. Yeah. Are you from here as well? You've shrunk a little bit as well. You've shrunk a little bit. I'm not used to the stars. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not used to the stars. You know what? Before, right? Yeah. We were in in Lee's. Uh, well, we interviewed Lee. I was here on the stage earlier. Yeah. 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 Okay, exactly. yeah, you're starting. <laughs> <laughs> What a show he's just put on for us. The boys filming it all. all getting a little bit of it backstage and on the main stage as well. Genius, very, very funny. He is a genius, yeah. So I'm just going to go and say a quick goodbye to him. Bye. Oh, cameras. Bless you. What a show, mate. What an absolute. I've got show. No, I knew people get guests coming to see you, so we just went back there. He's got to go. He's got to go. Good to see you too. Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed it. We really did. Thank you. See you soon, mate. All right. All the best. We're going to press the footage on, okay? Tip Jane. Good luck tomorrow, Birmingham and Ipswich and Leeds. Yeah. See you, everyone. Cheers. Bye bye. We have just arrived home from the theatre in a cab now. Oh, what a tired night. Hello, Sydney. Sydney, the little bully down there. You can't even see. We're home anyway. So Laura has made up the dining table with some bits and pieces for the kids tomorrow for Easter. That's looking good there. And your bev's been over, bringing goodies over there, haven't you, bev? You've been on baby mind and duties tonight. Look, she's got her hair done. Maybe it's done. It's all done up. <laughs> Look at all these goodies. Wow, there are all sorts going on here. Eggs and everything. Yeah, little Ellen comes out and walks down twice then. Now they settled.